Hello, today I'll be talking about the uh, endogenous pathway of the lipoprotein and lipid metabolism. So the endogenous pathway just means that uh, the, all these li lipoproteins are being made by ourselves, in, mostly in the liver. Okay, so I'm going to start with a very simplified uh, diagram of what happens um, until a lipoprotein is made. So you're going to have like glucose, which turns into pyruvate, which can then turn into acetyl-CoA um, in the mitochondria, which can then be turned into cholesterol by the action of HMG-CoA reductase. The acetyl-CoA can also turn into manylal-CoA, which can then turn into fatty acid, which um, can actually combine with glycerol, which is derived from glucose into triglycerides. And uh, the hepatocytes will also assemble um, apoproteins, which can then turn into lipoproteins as they're put together with the triglycerides and the cholesterol. So these three things can become lipoproteins. And the liver produces two types of uh, lipoproteins. So you can see there's two bubbles here, this one and this one. We're going to look at um, each of them separately. So this one and this one. So one of them is called the VLDL, very low density lipoprotein. And if you look at the surface, there's some um, surface molecules, uh, B100, C1, and APOE. Those are naturally occurring on the surface of nascent VLDL. And we have the MTHDL. I'm going to look at it later. So the VLDL gets released into the bloodstream. And what happens first is that uh, it will meet again the HDL, which you might be familiar if you've gone through with me the um, exogenous pathway of the lipoprotein metabolism. Anyway, it meets HDL and HDL again passes some things to VLDL, which are ApoE and ApoC2. It's worth knowing that uh, VLDL already has some ApoE and HDL gives, I mean, uh, more ApoE, okay? And now VLDL is set to be matured. And then what it does is very, very similar to chylomicrons. It will interact with the LPL receptors through the ApoC2, and then it will give triglycerides to like lipid uh, I mean, fat cells and other cells which need which needs uh, triglycerides. After it's done that, it will lose its triglycerides, and what happens to it is that it meets HDL again, just like chylomicrons, and will pass back its ApoC2 so that it doesn't uh, interact with LDL anymore. And what it does is that it exchanges kind of traits. Um, this phospholipids and triglycerides with cholesterol esters. So uh, VLDL will give HDL some of the phospholipids and triglycerides, whereas the HDL will give cholesterol esters to VLDL. And this, is, this happens through a transfer protein called cholesterol transfer protein. Cholesterol ester transfer protein, okay. Uh, there's a specific antagonist to this protein, which is anacetrapib, which is a new drug, and it's being developed right now. So I just put that in because it's interesting. Anyway, like after it's been done, um, the VLDL now becomes an IDL, an intermediate density lipoprotein. And... Part of this can go to the liver through the LDL receptor, and part of them can become an LDL. So LDL are effectively lipoproteins that have a lot of cholesterol. And oh yeah, I just put in that uh, intermediate means it's between VLDL and LDL, so that you know I don't get confused. So LDL, um, what it has is B100 and a lot of cholesterol. So what does LDL do? It's basically, um, it's most of the time, most of the time it's called a bad cholesterol. So to say, uh, let's let's see why that happens. It's because 
it will tr uh, transmit its cholesterol into um, vessel walls when it because it's like it, it has too many cholesterol, so it likes to deposit it wherever it can. So it, sometimes it deposits on the walls of the vessels, which will produce atherosclerosis. So that that is bad for us. It also deposits tissues that need cholesterol um, by those LDL receptors and PCSK9, um, those surface proteins, okay? After that, uh, it can be taken into the liver uh, through the LDL receptors. So basically, that's what uh, the path of L VLDL from the liver. So it starts all the way from here the VLDL, and it becomes mature VLDL, and then um, it can interact with the HDL to become mature, and it becomes the IDL, and then LDL to deposit cholesterols everywhere, basically. And now we're going to look at a, the HDL, the, another lipoprotein that comes from the liver. So HDL, in, in the current stage, it's called an empty HDL because it doesn't have um, things to transfer. It will get transferred into the bloodstream. What happens after that is that it will collect cholesterol from cells and also um, vessels that have too much cholesterol. And it becomes full HDL. So it's like a garbage truck where um, it will collect all the rubbish from households and collect it back into processing. And after it has been uh, filled with cholesterol, it can then go into any of the three pathways. It can pass these cholesterol to VLDL, like I just mentioned. Uh, it can also pass these cholesterols to steroidogenic organs like ovary, testes, and adrenals through the receptors of SRB1 receptors. It can also be scavenged or uh, taken into the liver through a scavenger receptor to dump the cholesterol for reassembly or excretion of cholesterol through bile. So this is, uh, I'm just going to show you uh, how HDL uh, interacts with VLDL, how it passes the cholesterol to the VLDL so that it can become LDL and then it can sort of take, be taken into the liver. So yeah, I've just run through pretty fast through the uh, endogenous pathway. That's all, I guess. And probably the next presentation, I'm going to look at what can go wrong and maybe the drugs that acts upon this endogenous pathway. Thank you very much. And see you.